World War II Spitfire to go with a motorbike. I'll go and have a look. It's definitely a Spitfire. He gone. Looks like you made a bit of progress with the WLA. Yeah. Gearbox rebuilt, engine rebuilt. Or well, the bottom end of the engine. Uh, like I say, it's just a matter of going through everything. Clutch pedals in, clutches in. It's going to nip everything up. Some of it will have to come off again when other parts go on, but at the moment it's just uh, using all my parts up so I know where I'm at. So these are the major parts that are back in? Yeah, they're all these bits you've got to put in and you want to put your mud guards on last. Then put your wheels in, kick starts working and everything. So, yeah, make sure you get all the right nuts and bolts and pinch the Bible book. Yeah, when the primary chain cover, this will have to come back off. Put the primary chain cover on, but that's all got to be repaired yet. Pain in the ass. What's that? I'll take that bolt out of there again. That's why it was an inch longer, but will I get it out with the coil in the way? Hmm. Darn. Yeah, all of this lot here is fiddly. The logical steps is get the gearbox in, get the engine in. Yeah, it's basically it's that lot there is the cluster that's tight, you know what I mean? Everything else you can sort of wiggle around afterwards, you know? Yeah, you have one straight bracket, one offset bracket, and that lets the air filter sit, box sit on there square. So is the paint soft or the metal soft? What makes it so easy to mark? Just the type of paint it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what's the next stages for the Harley then? I can clean all the camshafts now, clean this out of case and paint that. Then I can get all the camshafts and timing gear in, put the cam followers in, put the outer case on, I can set up the dynamo. That all needs cleaning and painting, but you need to put the dynamo in first because you, you have to get it to three thousandths of an inch backlash on the gears, which you do by packing paper underneath here to lower or raise the generator to the meshing on the cogs. Um, so that's quite a fiddly job, so I'll get that done. Then all that lot can be, that side can go in completely then. All the brake pedal, brake rods. But obviously that side I'm waiting for that primary chain case to be done, which I can 
get sorted out. Can start fitting some of the switch gear, some of the wiring loom can go in, and basically now is get the wheels sorted. Next week on the workshop.